Welcome back to today's video show. Today I am going to show you how to insert nasal gastric tube for a patient. So nasal gastric tube is the nasal gastric tube insertion is insertion of a plastic tube into the nostril down the esophagus into the stomach. So it may have different purposes, maybe for the compression for abdominal tension, for lavage as well as for lavage. So it may have different purposes. Here are the necessary equipments to insert the nasal gastric tube for a patient. But firstly, we need appropriate size nasogastric tube. It is a nasogastric tube. We need also a stethoscope. Uh, we need also a straw or a glass of water. We need also a gallipot. Uh, we need also a gauze. Here is also a tongue blade. We need, uh, we need also water soluble lubricant or KYJB. Here is a clamping forceps. We need also clamping forceps. Here is a gauze. As well as we need a plaster and the jar of water as well as a receiver. Here are the necessary equipment. So before performing any procedure, don't forget to wash your hand or use alcohol handler. Then you have to wear a clean glove. After wearing a clean glove, you have to explain the procedure to the patient and you have to greet the patient way. Uh, Mr. John, I am Yoni working in this hospital. I am going to help you. You have an abdominal distension that is due to accumulation of gas in your stomach. Here you need to insert a tube into a nostril down to the esophagus into the stomach to decompress and relieve your abdominal distension. It may have some discomfort during the starting. You agree with this? Okay, the patient is already agreed. Then make sure your patient is really John. So he is Miss John. Next, you have to position the patient. The appropriate position for nasogastric tube insertion is semi polar or semi sitting position. Okay, here is a semi sitting position or semi polar position. Next, you have to apply a drop sheet on the chest of your patient. After that, you have to clean the nostrils and make sure the nostrils are patterned. Clean the nostrils and make sure the nostrils are patent enough. Mr. John, I am going to check whether the, your nostrils are patent or not. But I am closing one nostril with gauze. So you have to blow air in the other nostril. Okay, you can able to blow air. It is patent. Close one nostril and also the patient can able to blow air in the other nostril. So the two nostrils are patent. Then you have to clean the nostrils if there is any debris here. You can also use cotton tip applicator. Okay, next you have to measure the tube to be inserted. Measure the tube from the tip of the nose, from the tip of the nose to the ear lobe. Then from the ear lobe after the zipoid process. And you have to put a mark here. Then lubricate it with KYJB. Don't forget to lubricate up to 6.5 inch of your nasogastric tube. Then you have to prepare your stethoscope. And also hold your nasogastric tube. Mr. John, I am going to insert a tube through your nostril. It may have some discomfort. While I am inserting, you have to swallow to facilitate his insertion. If you feel any discomfort, do not hesitate to record to me. Please swallow. After inserting, send me up to the nasogastric tube. Flex the head. Advance it slowly. Miss John, could you feel any discomfort? Could you swallow? Please swallow, please swallow. If the patient can't swallow, or if you have dry mouth, bring a piece of water and allow him to swallow. Call your patient for respiratory distress. After advancing it, use tongue blade and observe whether the tube is in the proper place or not. Okay, the tube is advancing forward. Then push it down until the marked position. 
After that, you have to make sure the patient has no anything of comfort. Tap it here. And to make sure whether the tube is in place or not, aspirate the nasogastric uh, gastric juice. Okay, here is a greenish gastric juice. And you can also use a litmus paper. And you have to apply here on the blue litmus paper. It tends to read it is on the proper place, that is the gastric acid. And also, you can use a stethoscope. Okay, you can make sure uh, whether the tube is on the nasal or on the gastric region or not by using air. So while you are aspartating here, you have to push air. And if you feel air, here is in the stomach. After that, you have to tap the tube. Tap the tube in place. If there is any gastric juice fresh here, you can clamp here or you may use or you may use or you may use the tip you may close the tip I have already secured the tip in place next you have to reposition your patient to the patient next you have to return to use the cube mantis and then you have to remove your glove wash your hand or use alcohol hand handler. Then document what you have done. While documenting, you may document the size of the nasogastric tube. Document the size of the nasogastric tube, the time of insertion, purpose of insertion, any patient reaction, as well as any gastric content you have observed. So this is all about nasogastric tube insertion. I will come back with another nursing procedure. Please don't forget to share, subscribe our channels for your friends. Thank you.